All right, if there's no further comments or questions, we'll move on to the next topic. And that is adding a Blackboard Collaborate session to a course in Blackboard Learn. So the simplest method here is uh, to use uh, the already created uh, course specific session. So you can have uh, a uh, session that's always open and have a link in your course so that students can click into that and they don't have to find, find the new session. It's, some sessions are, are time limited. This one is uh, always available as long as your course is available. And you can uh, add a link to that by going into a content area and then go to click on Tools and Blackboard Collaborate. And that will open up the uh, Blackboard Collaborate uh, Scheduling Manager. And from there, you'll see that there's multiple uh, uh, rooms already created. That's the uh, course-specific room and the instructor-specific room there. So if you wanted to uh, have one, one session that all your courses can join, you can add a link to each of your courses in which anyone in any of your classes could click on that, uh, that link and join as long as you've added that link for that specific course. But what uh, I'm going to go over here is adding a link for the course-specific one. Yes, there's also a scheduling a session which uh, goes a bit uh, further than we're going on this uh, uh, instructions right now, but uh, you can create a new session with time limits and such, but this is just going over the easiest way of doing it right now. So here you'll see there's an add link which I've circled in red here, and that will enable you to add a link within any, any course uh, content area within your course. And you see here that we've got the uh, course documents area selected. And the course link name is already in there as the Collaborate Demo Course Room, but we could change that to whatever we want. It could be office hours, could be general session, whatever you want, want to call it there. And not going for any more advanced session uh, uh, options, we could go ahead and click Save, and that would add a link called Co Collaborate Demo Course Room to the course documents of that course. And this has already been used uh, by many people here at UM. Uh, Dr. Gaines, in uh, particular, used it while he was away at a conference in Washington, D.C. to give his uh, course lecture uh, from his hotel room, which uh, I observed that, and it went very well. He had interaction with the class. You can see here they were doing a class activity in which uh, groups were uh, formed, and they par participated with the class and interacted with the uh, professor from a distance. And that worked out great, and uh, as you can see here, he's got his uh, uh, pic picture there, so everyone has the uh, reassurance that he's there and giving the talk. And below that, you'll see the little uh, smaller video of the class. We had a camera pointed back at the class, so he could also see uh, what was going on in the classroom. And I know that the nursing courses are also using it, but the main uh, use so far is also uh, has been outside of uh, Blackboard Collaborate, uh, Blackboard Learn with ITHR and uh, Accounts Payable doing training sessions with it, which has worked out really well. Now, why would you want to use Collaborate? Uh, well, as uh, distance education increases here at UM, it's going to become more and more important to still have that connection with your students. And of course, having video, audio, chat, and these other tools to interact with them, that'll increase the value of the uh, 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 learning I'm sorry, uh, of the uh, experience for the students. It's also more convenient uh, at times. Instead of having to meet somewhere with a student, you could pull this up and have uh, uh, have a session there without having to uh, have them come to your office or uh, uh, having to have multiple students come together uh, in person. They could also collaborate uh, remotely through this. But also, uh, this could increase the availability of faculty to students, make office hours much more accessible. Uh, for instance. But there are some potential issues. There's a slight learning curve in uh, using the interface here for both the, the instructors and the students. And of course, with any technology, there's always a chance of there being uh, technical issues and also bandwidth issues. If the students don't have a reliable connection or their Wi-Fi is uh, uh, buggy, they could have issues connecting uh, to it. But that it, that's the way it is with all uh, things uh, on the internet. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And any questions? Yeah, just a comment from me, Bill. Um, the uh, uh, one of the things that Collaborate does is provide 
<clears throat> emphasis on the voice. It tries to get all of the vocal information. So if there's a break in what's happening, it, try, it, it catches up with where, where you are in your lecture. And it, we call that the chipmunk phenomenon, because all of a sudden your voice goes up and you start talking real fast because it's trying to catch up and catch up and catch up, and then it's back to normal. So the people won't lose anything, even if there is a, uh, a delay of some kind because of a bottleneck in their network. Uh, it really is a, a reliable system from everything that we've, we've seen about it. To answer your question, uh, no, you don't have to set up a separate session. That's the purpose of those uh, pre-created sessions for the course and the instructor. If you wanted to uh, have a link out there at any time just to have uh, uh, them be able to click on it and join you in that session, you could uh, very easily just direct them to click on your office hours link, for instance. That was one of the things that really confused me when I got started here, is their use of the term sessions. Um, a session seems to me to have this start and end, and it's like a TV show or something. But that is not how it's defined here. A session is <clears throat> an opportunity to meet, a room that you can use any time that you want to. And you can set it very limited times, or you can open it up for all the times in the world. And by default now in Blackboard, this is uh, Service Pack 14. I think that's when it was added. There are two rooms created by default that didn't used to get created. There's a room for every course. So if you just want to meet with the people in the course, you set with that. And um, there's a, a room for every instructor. So if you just want to have an open room that's any office, oh, <clears throat> excuse me, often office hours are open hours. People from any of your classes can come in. Other times you're doing a review session just with one class. So in the case of doing a review session with one class, you'd probably use your classroom, class session, um, start it, end it, turn on the recording, turn off the recording, whatever, if you want to record. Uh, get to that in a second. And, and in the other case, you'd use the, um, the individual room, the teacher's room, because you want everybody to be able to get there if they want to. And you know, at first, with the office hours, um, there may be nobody that comes. <laughs> uh, and, and if you want them to come, you know, encourage them somehow. But, but it can be a, a neat thing. Um, Katam, I think, Katam has all kinds of experience with, with using this. Uh, both before she got the UM, I think, and, and here at UM before it became part of Blackboard uh, in the School of Nursing. Um, and and I know, Katam, you mentioned something about this, and Lily mentioned something about it, but I haven't looked into it yet, that one of the two rooms, at least, those formally created rooms, you yes, can't record yes, yet. Yes, well, thank you. Um, the one you cannot record actually the instructor room. The, the one it's it actually set up for office meeting only. The one you can record the course room. And so and also there is like option for you to manually to close this room if you want to from the course. Excellent, thank you. Um, the uh, and and closing the rooms is interesting too because whether we're in this room or not as moderators, you can go in. <laughs> so this is a a session that we've created for these um, events every week, and it's just going to sit there forever with the uh, U Miami BB or two years or something. I think Brett made it for. So if you don't want the students to be able to do that, um, you can turn it off turn off your uh, instructor course or your instructor collaborate session or your course collaborate session. But that's good to know. And I guess that makes sense about the um, not being recording office hours because often that that is very private. 
Go ahead, Kitao. Yeah, the only uh, experience also I have, because since I have access to all nursing school as a course builder, and I have another instruction on the gender, so we have, like, you know, more than user roles, like that when you turn on the instructor room to be open, and there is a blackboard mashups options, it gives like multiple rooms that as that as I show you Bill, like um like in in my cases I will have like five different rooms and students I they get confused which room to go to. So for for in for my case it's the best way the best way to do it to close these rooms and leave the default one and the course room. Or ask, you know, we create a session and put it inside, you know, in, embed it inside the Blackboard course as well. So just to share this experience with you guys. Excuse Thank me you. while I go back. Let's see. I think you're talking about using the tool itself rather than a, a link to the tool in your course. And that's right. I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but if you are using the tool, um, like email and all the other tools that are on Blackboard, the students probably come up with something like this and can see all of the um, rooms, sessions that are around and available. Uh, if you add the links and just ignore the fact that there's a, um, a tool out there for the students, the link might be better because I'm assuming uh, it creates a link and then you could have time, um, you know, time dependency. You could hide it. You could turn it on at, at certain times so that the students would know that I've got a, a 3 o'clock session and it wouldn't appear until 2.30 and then would end at 4.30 or something. So it's got some features that we I'm anxious to experiment with to figure some use cases out. No, okay, I, I get what you're saying, but the thing with the, okay, with the Blackboard Collaborate, you can add the link to, as you mentioned, I like the idea for the announcement area, but when you want them to do, to watch the recording session, so you have the, to go manually and add the link as well, which I found it in, unuseful, like, you know, yep. so I want them just to click directly to the tool and click on the tab it said recording and able to see all the recorded sessions within a given class. Does that make sense to you? Or? Absolutely. In fact, I just highlighted what you do at the bottom for the, to get to see the recordings. And, and that makes sense. You're going to send them to that page um, exactly. so to get the recordings, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's what... Uh, I think the reason I add the tools, you know, for them to have access, full access to the recording session and then to, so to save time in our, in my faculty as well, for them to go and create, to send them the recording link every time they have a collab collaborative session. Yeah, and for the benefit of those people who, um, Jean, Jean, by the way, is my sister-in-law. She lives out in Las Vegas now. Um, and. Uh, for her benefit, I'm not sure if everybody else knows or not, but nursing is one of the programs that has, um, oh, it could have eight or ten or even more instructors assigned to a course because they're all out at clinics doing their training or doing their uh, stuff, and then they have to have an instructor for each student to supervise them, and they're all instructors in this one course. Uh, the you know, so uh, um, uh, Kitam ran into that, and all of a sudden there was this whole line of all of these instructors. 